Hey guys, Tina here, the Critical Virgo. So it has been a really long time since I've done an empties video. I actually only did it on my channel once and it was like eh, but it was when my channel was a lot smaller and I just, I don't know, I just stopped filming them. I kind of felt funny, honestly, the first time I did one because um, you have to like keep all your trash. Here's mama, for those of you who don't know. And um, I don't know, I've just been watching a lot of these. I think they're really fun. I've been collecting my trash for the last two months. So this is January and February. I really should have did one for each month. Uh, this video will be long, but if you're new to my channel, then welcome. I do put timestamps to everything down below. I'm going to try to separate this into categories as much as I can. I will start with candles. Um, then I will go to, I don't have a lot of Bath and Body Works. I'll do some Bath and Body Works and then I'll just like beauty and personal hygiene last. So for candles, I'm going to start with the one that was like my least favorite. I got this as a gift from a friend of mine for like my birthday and it was just like sitting in, um, my closet for the longest time. I decided to pull it out. It's from Opal House and the scent is mulled wine. Um, as you could tell, like I did leave it burning for way too long. There's a lot of soot going on and I didn't really enjoy it. I don't even know where she got it from. Uh, didn't, didn't have like any scent throw whatsoever. So I wouldn't go out of my way to like try to find this. I am going to keep this, um, container though. I'm just going to get the wax out and repurpose this. So I'm actually doing that with all of my um, candles. So if you want to know what I'm going to be doing with that, then don't forget to subscribe if you not, are not already so that you can find out what I'm going to do with these. The next candle up, I have a lot of Sonoma candles. I do shop at Kohl's very frequently and I don't know, they have like specials around the holidays. So I just stocked up. I do have a lot of Bath and Body Works candles and I generally go through about like two, two candles a month. Um, so this one is cinnamon spice cookie. And mm, it was just a really awesome like winter Christmas fragrance. I would totally pick this one up again. It had amazing scent throw. I have really great experiences with the fragrances, uh, with the candles from Sonoma. So uh, if you ever see this around on sale, especially around the holidays, and you just want like a really warm, fresh baked scent that has a lot of throw, then I would definitely pick these up. I have another Sonoma candle here. This one is Crackling Cedarwood. And this one is, mm, it was very like woody and smoky. It reminded me of like a campfire. I had a little bit of a snafu with this one. It did um, fall over. So some of the wax kind of made its way out. Uh, but for the most part, it burned fairly evenly. And I did enjoy this one very much. It had great scent throw. I'll be honest, like I do go through about two candles a month. So I had, you know, these two going together. Um, it was just a really nice combo, or especially like for, you know, January. Um, my last candle, oh my gosh. Chocolate covered cherries, another Sonoma one. Um, looked like that. So if you're into like gourmand fragrances, then I would definitely check this out. Mm. Right now it doesn't smell great because like, it's like burnt. Um, it did burn fairly evenly and the scent throw was really great. I love chocolate fragrances, if you guys don't know. And um, this definitely reminded me of like, maybe like a maraschino cherry, if you know what I'm talking about. Like the, um, the ones in, no, the cherry cordials. I forgot what they're called. Like one of those, um, chocolate candies has like the chocolate on the outside the cherry on the inside and like the um gel filling i love those i know a lot of people find them to be super disgusting but i i like them so uh that's probably why i like this candle so much that is it for candles um i'm just going to go into bath and body works because there wasn't a whole lot in here um, I did go through Vanilla B. Noel, the moisturizing body wash and the lotion. I did cut it in, in, in half just to get everything inside. 
Oh my gosh, I love this. Um, it's just a really awesome vanilla fragrance. It's not very overpowering. And um, I know some people don't like it because of the musk. It's really not like an offensive, crazy musk. It's very light and I like it wouldn't keep me up. So I like fragrances that aren't gonna keep me up at night. This was easy to apply at night. Didn't uh, mess with my senses whatsoever. And I love their moisturizing body washes. Um, I do have another set of these actually, cause I did stock up. So I do have another moisturizing body wash and the lotion, but I'm taking a break from it right now. And I'm using um, one of the aromatherapy ones, um, Thankful and also Rose. So uh, those would probably be a next month's thing. Um, it does take me, I'm not gonna like have these in every single month because I do use like two or three different types of um, scents at the same time. So sometimes they come in clusters and sometimes they're not there at all. So know that. Um, let's get into, I'm just gonna get the like personal care out of the way, like stuff that you just kind of go through, not beauty related specifically. Um, I do use plaques. I am huge on um, stuff for pre-brushing. I'm kind of anal with my teeth, as you will see in a second. Um, it just really helps break down the plaque. I love this stuff. I buy it over and over. Uh, next month, I'm gonna have something that does the same thing, but it's like a natural whatever thing because Amazon, I didn't realize that I had this set for like every three months on my Amazon cart. So, and I was like desperate. So I went to the vitamin shop and picked something up, but I have like some words to say about that. Anyway, if you are not using this, I highly recommend you do because you'd be surprised at how much it does loosen up. Okay, so you might think I'm a little crazy for going through this much Too Faced. So it's not that I went through two full ones. Um, I do take them to work. I brush my teeth at lunch. Like I said, I'm a little anal about my teeth. Um, so it did take like two or three months to go through them. Uh, because I do brush my teeth every day at work and I obviously do in the morning and at night at home. I'm pretty anal about that. I'm surprised I don't have any floss in here because I do floss like twice a day. I'm pretty compulsive about it um, because I don't like going to the dentist, but that's a whole other thing. I do go, I do go. I just am really afraid and I have to get knocked out. So that's another story for another time. And then we got some Summer's Eve. Uh, most of you ladies know what this is for. It's just for your lady parts and everything. Gotta keep it fresh. I really like this scent. It's morning paradise. It's like not, it, I don't know, it doesn't really smell like much. That's the one thing. I guess that's why these are so good for you. It just has like a light, um, fresh, semi-citrus scent. I don't know. Um, I don't go through these very often because obviously you're washing such a small area. So you might see these like once every six months on this channel if I continue to do these. Uh, I purchased this from Sally Beauty a while ago. It's Silk Elements Shea Butter with Lavender Hand Cream. Looks like that. This is another reason why you won't see a ton of um, empty Bath and Body Works on my channel because I do use like six or seven different hand creams at the same time. I keep them at my desk at work. I have like three going um, and I have like two in my purse. I'm a little compulsive about it. I don't like to have dry skin. So uh, the lavender scent on this wasn't that great. I wouldn't repurchase this, honestly, because it just, it left like this film on your skin. So mm, would not repurchase. Now I know why it was on sale with Sally Beauty. Um, and now we'll get into just some like, I guess, beauty stuff. Um, okay, so some of you are subscribed to my channel because I love Mario Badescu. I have um, a few videos on here that have done really well. And I have gone through a lot of like their cleansing lotions, their toners, a lot. Um, and yeah, I actually have two Mario Badescu things in here, but this one is the Alpha Grapefruit Cleansing Lotion. I love this stuff, um, but if you watch my videos, you'll know that you can't like go crazy with this stuff like twice a day because it is it can be kind of drying. Um, I do use this only in the mornings, and I find that it you know definitely takes off like that night sleep. I don't wash my face twice a day; I only wash my face once a day at night. But I do use this in the morning. 
and then obviously put on some lotion. Another Mario Badescu thing I have is the cleansing milk with carnation and rice oil. I'm surprised that I use this one up because I'm using two of them at the same time. I use it for like my makeup. I don't wear makeup every day. I usually just wear it if I'm going to record something or if I have like an event to go to. I think that's why my skin stays fairly nice. Um, I am 35 will be 36, but uh, I think my skin's pretty good. You know, I don't have any foundation on. I just have some like blush and whatever, but my skin's good for 30, 35, almost 36. Definitely love this. It's hydrating, doesn't dry your skin out. Um, but just know if you're gonna pick that up, and I do use it, I do continually purchase this. You might have to do it on your face twice, but I will put a link to my videos at the end for Mario Badescu. If you're interested in that, go check it out. So uh, you know how I said I don't go through a lot of the Bath and Body Works moisturizers because I do use a lot of other ones. A coworker of mine turned me on to this company. It's called Cuccio. I don't know if a lot of you have heard of it. So she had like this big tub at her desk and I was like, what's that? And she's like, this is like stripper lotion. I'm like, what do you mean it's stripper lotion? She said, when you put it on, it just kind of like melts into your skin. It doesn't leave it like, um, oily and it just kind of leaves it like nice and powdery and soft and I was like oh let me try it out tried it out I really liked it and then I kept talking about it and like borrowing hers at work so um for my birthday they got me like all these little minis with different fragrances I have the coconut and white ginger pomegranate and fig and then I have another one that'll be in next month because I've used it up uh, but they're just these really cute little tubs I like this company um the it leaves your skin feeling really soft without leaving like a film and it kind of like leaves it nice and powdery and just lightly scented really like this it's kind of expensive though you can find it on amazon um the sample kit of these is like i think it was like 20. i'll put links to those down below if you're interested in checking it out i would repurchase these again um and i'm actually going to keep these little jars uh to refill with like some of my other lotions if i want to take them to like the gym or leave them in my bag so they're not going to waste i'm not throwing these out i will be repurposing these today actually i didn't intend to put this in this um video i have two of these going at the same time so i'm pretty surprised that i went through this it's a really old bottle it's taken me forever to go through it's redkin one united it's supposed to have like 25 benefits it's i use it as like a detangler i have a lot of hair my hair is super duper long okay super thick it's naturally curly i did blow it out um and i did like take a little curling wand to it but my hair is like super long guys like i don't think you realize like it comes down like past my boot it's like to my belly button almost okay i have a lot of hair a lot of thick curly hair and um it gets tangled like crazy especially like when you leave it curly you can't comb it every day so when you finally get around taking a shower and combing it out it's just a, a bird's nest for me at least so i spray this on i love the scent of this it has like this nice um rose fragrance does not leave like a film on your hair oh by the way bottle looks like that love this absolutely love this um i picked two bottles of this up from ulta like on a sale i want to say like uh, maybe a year or so ago i don't wash my hair every day i wash my hair maybe like twice a week i do co-wash in between um depending on like how many times i work out and all that stuff but it's not good to wash your hair every day just so you know but um when i do i definitely use this every single time and you know i feel like my hair has been um in really good condition since i don't get like a lot of split ends it's really soft I haven't been to the hairdresser in forever. I cut my own hair. So, um, but the few times that I have been to the hairdresser since I started using it, like in the past, they used to like scold me for washing my hair too often. It was like really dry and they'd say, oh, you need to start putting leave-in conditioners. The few times that I did go, they like didn't scold me. So they didn't really give me a compliment, but they didn't really scold me. So I guess I'm doing good with that. I'm not really sure. And then I just got like a little bag of extras here um again i don't wear makeup very often uh and i don't use like eye makeup removers or whatever but i did have these alame long wear and waterproof eye makeup remover pads um 
I had this for forever. They were probably way overdue to be used up. I don't even know how long ago this packaging came out, but I finally used them up. Um, I really only take it like when I travel or if I have like some really stubborn, crazy waterproof makeup going on because sometimes I'll be honest, the Mara Badescu stuff just doesn't cut it or I just have to go over the same spot so many times it gets a little annoying. I would not buy this again. I think I'll just deal with putting this uh, car cleansing milk with carnation oil on my eyes a few times because this was like really just a pad with, I want to say it was like mineral oil. I'm not really sure. It is because the first ingredient is mineral. It just felt like a little thin pad with some mineral oil and the oil does help break up all that um, waterproof makeup. So it, it did work, but then I just had like an oil slick on my eyes. I don't really like that. Um, so I'm not going to buy it again. Now, um, oh, I have this Origins Ginseng. See that picks up. I got this in a Vox box a long time ago. I don't know if a lot of you are familiar with them. Um, Vox box, like you get these like products to try from companies and you put your reviews up. This one, it was... It didn't have a fragrance. Um, I wouldn't repurchase this. Not that it was bad. It did a really good job at like hydrating. And it had like a, like a glitter, not a glitter in it, but like a shimmer, like a pearl in it. And I think that's why it like brightens your eye area. It's supposed to also de-puff. I didn't really, I really didn't have like an issue with that. I do have hooded eyes, but that's not anything that a cream can help with. I'm just bored with that. But um it said to put it on like in the morning and at night, whatever. It worked. It kept my eye area hydrated. I'm using other products now. I actually have strayed away from Marbadescu and that'll be a whole other video and another day. Uh but I just I don't know. I for the price I wasn't like blown away. It wasn't really anything special. I feel like a lot of these companies they all use like the same but like base lotion um and just build on it i will keep this container for like traveling i think it's really um good i could repurpose it and put like maybe some cocoa butter or whatever in it maybe for like my lips or something but i'm not gonna buy it again um i have okay again with the whole hand stuff this is um from soap and glory it's hand food it's just a little a small little bottle. I mean, how many ounces is this? It's only 1.69 ounces. It's really tiny. See it in the size of my hand. Um, it came with a foot moisturizer too, but I like used that up ages ago and I didn't say it. So it's got a really great scent to it. It reminds me of the, uh, which one was it? Chanel Mademoiselle. It's got like that nice like rose. What is it with? It's got rose and bergamot, but it smells like more complex, almost like Mademoiselle. So if you like that perfume, you'll probably really enjoy this. It was very hydrating. I would repurchase this again if it was on sale, like if I had a special at Ulta or I was just trying to make my like points for the year or whatever. I definitely pick it back up. I enjoyed my time with that and it was just really convenient to have around. Now I have some samples because I used to subscribe to Ipsy and um, for a long time, you know, I was getting all these little samples. I unsubscribed for a few reasons. I just felt like there were a lot of um, duplicative stuff and I was just getting tired of it. This is the Filgora Laboratories Miso Mask. Uh, it wasn't bad. It wasn't great either. It didn't have like a fragrance to it, which I liked. Uh, it didn't really do anything for my skin. I just felt like it was something that I put on and ended up just wiping off. So, mm, wouldn't go out of my way for it. I got a lot of masks with Ipsy, okay? This one's Apto. It's a healing turmeric mask for all skin types. Again, the same thing. Wasn't really great. Wasn't really impressed with it. I just, I don't know, used it up because I had it. Didn't like brighten my skin. I have a few friends that use turmeric masks to lighten their skin because they don't like their tan. I don't have that problem. Clearly I'm very pale at the moment, which is funny because I live in Florida. 
Um, it's supposed to clear pores, but I don't know, I really didn't have like skin issues, so, and I didn't really feel like it cleared my pores. I still had to deal with my clogged pores on my nose, so would not buy that again. This one was kind of interesting. I thought about repurchasing it, but toward the end of this little sample, I was like, yeah, no, I don't want to. It's Lobotica Transforming Liquid Foil Mask. It's for all skin types. It's got like a pearl sheen to it and it's supposed to be brightening. Um, I don't really feel like it did any brightening to my skin or improved it in any way. It was pearly putting it on and then taking it off was like kind of awkward. You're supposed to peel it off. Um, it didn't peel evenly. So half of it I ended up just wiping off with wet cloth. But it was interesting. I really enjoyed this one. Um, this is Trust Fun Beauty Lipgasm, a lip scrub. The only reason why I wouldn't repurchase this is because um, it's really just sugar, sugar granules in a tube. Um, it had a great flavor, obviously, because of sugar, but I feel like I can make my own sugar lip scrub if I really wanted to. I'm not gonna pay for it. I think that's kind of silly. So yeah, no. Last thing is this KP Duty Derma Doctor and um, it's an AHA moisturizing therapy for dry skin. I used this on my hands and my feet. Um, it was good. It had like a light scent to it. I don't really think there's like fragrance in it. Um, it would be really good for like the winter months because it was very hydrating. I'm just not going to pick it up because I got so many other lotions. I really don't need it, especially for the price. I just, I don't need it in my life. So yeah, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comment section down below. I will do them on a monthly basis. I know this was a lot and this video was very long, so I appreciate your patience. And again, if you want to know what I'm going to do with the candles, I'm going to reuse the wax in different ways. Um, definitely subscribe so you can see that at a later time. Bye guys.